One of the most highly anticipated Raspberry Pi 4 accessories is on the horizon. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and take a peek. They've redone a lot of things and improved on the previous model. The complaints that people had, they were heard, they were updated. Now, this is not currently available, so I wanna get into it, but is it real as well? And as best of my knowledge, yes it is, because even the recall official recall box YouTube channel has one in their possession. So this does exist, they have packaging, they have a th material. So unless this is some really meta April Fool's joke or trolling, this is coming soon. And it's, it's just what you thought. You should be excited because it is going to be a masterpiece for sure. Welcome upgrades. You can just see right off the bat, USB 3.0, a cartridge, uh, an SSD support, um, let, let, let's, let's jump into all the details right now. So I did just want to see this right off the bat. And as you can see here, here's the box. There's the original Nest Pi case. And this video is in French, so that's why I'm kind of translating it for you or showing you what exactly is going on. And you're gonna see when they actually open the case as well, a lot of that isn't just the power supply because yes, the power supply is now included, which is awesome. It also gives you an HDMI uh, adapter and as he's pointing out here, it is for the Raspberry Pi 4. The biggest thing is that SSD case, that's pretty cool. When they did the Magpie case and they did like a Super Nintendo case, they started including cartridges with it. And I think that's a welcomed add-on for people. It just makes it look more like the original system. Now, just like the old variants, you still get access to your LAN port. You still get access to your power, your micro SD. You get the two uh, USB ports in the front. Um, that is one of the lacking things with the... Um, with this particular case though, is you only get two USB ports in the front instead of the four you might normally get because some of those are gonna be used for your SSD or other uh, accessories within the case. So there you go, it does come with a power supply and this is what I wanted to look at here in the video which is what type of power supply uh, it includes because I believe, I mean he's speaking French, I imagine he's in Europe somewhere, so is this gonna have a European plug on it or is it gonna be a US, uh, power supply because that might be why it's not in the US yet. Oh, so that's a US power supply. Okay, so that's good that they obviously are gonna be releasing it to this market. Um, and so this is also gonna address the um, problem with the last Nest Pi case. People said they got the little yellow lightning strike which is under voltage on when you're playing uh, games. And so by them including their own power supply, you will no longer need to worry about that because they're going to include a power supply that can run the fan, can run the additional accessories and the Raspberry Pi uh, all together. So that is nice. Uh, looking at the cord there, it looks like it's pretty short cord, like four feet or so, but that's totally fine. So here it is, the prize possession, uh, the Nest Pi 4 case. Um, it does say power reset. And then they're not allowed to say Nintendo because of copyright issues. It looks like there might be a little bit of ventilation there on the top. But um, yeah, I guess there could be. The SSD would go to the left of that. So yeah, that could be uh, perforated there. And then as you see, you have a USB uh, 3.0 port and then a USB 2.0 port on there uh, as well. And then here's the side-by-side, -side, which is um, pretty cool that they can... Uh, you can see that they had to widen it to fit that SSD and they probably widened it too for better airflow, things like that. You're gonna see in a moment, they added a huge heat sink and a fan, which is also from my understanding, if you look at the eBay listing, is also included. See, if you look at the listing here, there's a heat sink and fan. It doesn't say anything about optional, but when you go to what's included, they call it heat, two heat sinks. So I'm a little confused as to what two heat sinks those are. Um, there's this one big one here for the pie itself. I don't know where the other heat sink is, but maybe they call that too. Um, cooling fan with custom, customized aluminum alloy heat sink. It's a heat sink that they're adding onto there. So we'll see what, what that uh, entails. Um, and then we saw the case. We're about to see the SSD case holder in just a second. And then we saw everything else that's been uh, included so far. But that's nice that it comes with a fan. We'll talk about the price in a moment. Um, but here are some little close-up pictures of their own. Uh, you know, with how they're loading it. And you can easily erase this with a magic eraser and buy Nintendo stickers and make it your own, 
we already saw all this USB type C now instead of micro and then micro HDMI versus the full size, but they give you an adapter, which is a nice touch. Um, and then here's that SSD uh, cartridge and then it just says cartridge, but you know, someone's going to take this sticker off and put their own or take the sticker off, paint this gold, put a Zelda sticker on there. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and then it does have safe shutdown as well. Um, the bottom of the case probably has some vents in it as well. Let's see if we could see it. And then they have a cutout for the micro SD there. Um, we're going to see the bottom of the case, right? We should see it pretty quickly here. So there's the original. We've all seen the original. Okay, but here's the new one. We talked about these on the pictures. The front. Okay, let me see if we can get it back. Can we see the bottom? Okay, he's pointing out USB 3.0. And ooh, there's the cartridge. Now let's see if he does he click it out or does it it just pulls out. Okay. So it's not a clicking mechanism like the original Nintendo. Looks like it's just so this is where I'm a little confused. Is that an adapter and you put the SSD inside of that? Or did he already put an SSD in there and that's the SSD being shown? That's what I'm unsure about, but that shouldn't really make a big difference. Um, that looks way big enough to fit the adapter and a full size hard drive in there. Um, and then that's going to be powered by the fastest you could do is that's going to go into a, um, you can see there the, the board, but that board, when he opens this up, you'll see that the, um, the it's going it's connected by USB to the Pi, and you can either put that in a USB 2.0 slot or a USB 3.0 slot. I would put in a USB 3.0 slot because you're gonna get faster speeds. So there you go, showing that you can take in and out this. Okay, so here you go. You do have vents on the bottom, and it looks like you also where his left hand is here by his wrist area. There's a little um, compartment there, and that's the same thing that was on the old Nest Pi cases. You can go ahead and lift that up and you can store your micro SDs in there. You see how there's like a shadow of a micro SD here, right here, um, that'll be micro SD storage. All right, so he's gonna open it up. So there's that fan and the heat sink. So I only see one heat sink here, am I crazy? Um, and then here you could see that this is where he's connected his SSD, but he's not actually running this SSD because it looks like he's running it out of his USB. Um, oh no, that would be 3.0. So the 3.0 is here. So yeah, run the USB 3.0 to your, um, hard drive, and then he's running the front ports. Interesting, because you probably want your front ports to go from the USB 3.0 as well. So maybe I'm looking at this wrong, but this this should be going to the, oh, okay, it looks like it is. And, and it looks like there is a, a pin in the back there. So um, this does only get, you could put another hub on here, but like I said, if you wanna play three players or four players or, or you know, to put in some extra things like a light gun. You might need to buy a USB hub for this, um, which you might have to already anyways. And then it's got the safe shutdown script and the buttons for the power reset connectors and uh, sandwiches just like the old one did. Looks really good though. Looks like the footprint is definitely bigger though when you saw the side by side, did you guys see that earlier? Like it's gonna be significantly bigger. Like that's a full inch bigger. It looks like it's a good half inch taller and then deeper as well. Looks like it's a half inch deeper as well. Okay, um, so we saw the cartridge, we opened it up. Um, he takes out the cartridge again. He just pushes it in. Like I said, it, you gotta pull out, it doesn't just click in and out. Okay, and then looks like it's just Phillips screws to get in there, which is really nice. And as I said, people are gonna customize the heck out of this thing, it's gonna be awesome. All right, so it will be compatible with the Pi 4 only, not the Pi 3. Safe shutdown reset, that's pretty standard. Easy assembly, yeah, they're super easy to assemble. NES style, so they took the styling from the original Nintendo. And then strong heat dissipation. Yeah, that, that combination of the fan with the heat sink is gonna do great. For all of you gamers out there, you know, you can overclock and keep it in there, no problem at all. This SSD case is amazing, great idea. As I mentioned, I think this black piece is more of an adapter and you can put your hard drive within that. Um, we'll see what we'll actually see. I really wanna see what's inside of this or is this supposed to represent the entire hard drive? Um, to me, it looks like a some sort of adapter that you put the hard drive in. Okay, safe shutdown, you can either turn that on or off, and then depending on what image you're running, you just gotta run the script. They'll probably include their own script, but a lot of these pre-built images out there already have the scripts pre-installed on them, so you don't even have to run those scripts, making it even easier to run the installation and making this a plug-and-play uh, you know, case. 
Okay, nothing new there. Now it's, you know, just the updated to Pi 4. This looks cool, though. This little fin, you know, this thinned out heat sink. That looks really, it looks kind of aggressive. I like that. And uh, here's the dimensions in uh, millimeters. In case you're wondering, you have a little nook that you're eyeing where you want to put this thing. Although I wouldn't put it in a tight nook. You definitely want to put some airflow around it. And uh, that's it. I want to talk a little bit about pricing, though, lastly, which is how much do you think they're going to charge for this? And honestly, I have no idea. If somebody saw a leak for it, then, um, you know, please let me know. But my understanding, if, if it was me, the old Nest Pie cases went for $20 to $25, and a lot of them did not include the fan. This one's going to include the fan and the heat sink. So that's going to be a value add. This cartridge, sometimes cases will sell this separately. That's a value add. And then the fact that now they have to do USB 3.0 and they're changing out the boards and they have to, you know, cover their R&D costs. My, my mind is it'll be minimally $30, which would be, you'd be lucky to get it at that. I'm going to say $35 to $40 on release date. Um, especially as they, they're going to sell out when the minute this goes live, especially for North America and Canada, you know, this thing is going, and even the UK, I mean, in Europe, you know, uh, even, you know, I'm sure even South America has a really big market for all this stuff. So I think no matter where you are, you're going to go nuts for this thing and they're going to be able to, you know, put a hefty price tag on there. There's going to be people that are going to complain. They're going to be like, oh, that's so expensive. It's just a case. I could go buy a flirt case for $15. And I'm not making fun of you guys. You're right. You can. And what this company's going to do is they're just going to skim it off. They're going to take those sales for the first month or two, and then they'll discount it. And then for those that were complaining before, they'll take the sale prices. So it'll be just like before, and it'll be bought in waves, which is, you know, the <laughs> these people are going to make a ton of money that way. So um, there you go. Um, it's going to be awesome. I see nothing wrong with this except that it took so long to, to, to get here. That's my biggest beef with it is why did it take so long to get there? The other thing I didn't bring up in this video is I wonder if they're going to have some sort of legal battles with, with, with Nintendo. I know they have it in the past. But this one, to me, with the cartridge and everything, I mean, they're really getting into some dangerous territory here. If I'm Nintendo, I'm going to look at this device. And especially with Nintendo's recent, you know, getting these mini consoles out there, to me, this is a competitor. And if I'm working for Nintendo, I might get a lawyer on this. But uh, luckily, you know, it hasn't happened in the past. However, I do know there's been other companies that have made Raspberry Pi cases that are Nintendo-themed and they've been taken down and have been asked to remove them. So we'll see about that. So I did email my contact at RetroFlag and uh, asked about, can you please confirm if this product is coming and when it is coming? I have not heard back. The minute I hear back, I'll go ahead and uh, post a comment in the or update the description in this video. That way, if there is any news on this, I'll put it out, especially if I can get a release date, which I asked about, and also pricing and if this is legitimately real. But the fact that the recall box is doing this, and I mean, that's a lot of work to fake something like this. <laughs> so it's definitely real. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. It's just a matter of when. And then when it does come out, I'm guaranteeing you this thing will sell like hotcakes. I know people that buy, you know, 5, 10, 20 at a time, and it's going to be uh, like a Walmart Black Friday sale. So anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.